வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஏபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் இன் திஸ் கோர்ஸ் வில் டிஸ்கஸ் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர்டர்ஸ் தட் இஸ் குட்ஸ் இஷ்யூ ஆர்டர் கன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அண்ட் குட்ஸ் ரிசிப்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர்டர்ஸ் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சம்மரைஸ் வாட் வி டிஸ்கஸ் ஸோ ஃபார் வி ஸ்டார்ட் வித் பேசிக் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் லைக் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் டைப்ஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் then we talked about mass rate of our sap production planning and execution then we talked about demand related things like mrp mrp run outputs of mrp and then we talked about how to create release and print production orders just to refresh what is the production order cycle so in production order cycle we get planned orders from mrp then we convert the planned orders into production orders or production orders can be created manually also and then cost are worked out for each production order then production orders are released and printed after this what we should do we need to issue the metals to the production orders to execute the production and then once the production is done we have to enter what are the production details and then we will receive the materials from the production that is what we are going to focus in this session after completing the production we have to do technical completion that we will discuss in the next session how to do the technical session and other functions first we will talk about how to do the material issue to the production order when we create the production order itself the reservations are created for each material to the production order that is the reservation is created when the production order is in the stage of uh, creation itself it uh, need not uh, wait for the release based on the reservation materials will be issued to the shop floor and because the reservation is done during the creation itself when we do the analysis of shortage list for the orders we can keep the orders in the creation stage or release stage so that we do the complete analysis then we can release or we can take the decision so uh, having a reservation during creation is a good advantage we are having here so what's happening when goods issues then when goods issues then stock quantity of the issued item is reduced because we are issuing you know that has to come down from the inventory and then consumption statistics are updated in system and then what the reservations created you now those things would be removed and then production orders are debited with actual metal cost and then metal cost metal document and accounting documents are created so so many activities are carried out during the goods issue when goods issue is happening it is done through movement type 261 to production order so movement type 261 will be used to issue the metal to the production orders and metal issue to production orders can be done in three ways one is goods issue against production order that is manually or through picking list to the production orders or through backflush there are three methods what the all these three methods will discuss now so goods issue against production order is done through transaction migo or the menu path is shown here migo is one of the transaction which used for many transactions one of the transaction is goods issue to the production order now after entering into migo the screen will be looking like this here we have to select that goods issue a07 goods issue and then the r08 order and then what is the production order we are supposed to issue and then once you enter these things automatically that uh, uh, movement type 261 will appear we have to ensure that and then press enter then all the components to be issued to the production order as per the production order will be listed out and then we have uh, the item okay that check box will be there select it then okay you now that item okay is selected check box save it so now document is posted this means the item is issued now let us see go let us see the goods issue status of this production order through c03 the production order display transaction when you go into the components page we see only for only component goods issue is done it is not done for other components why because during migo only for one item we selected okay and saved it so if you have to ensure that all the components to be issued we have to select all the items which are appear in the migo then we have to give okay and save it then only it will be issued so to highlight this purpose only i selected that only one item and uh, show i showed the 
why that is issued, why it is not issued. Because these are some of the issues which will be coming into the day-to-day -day operations which you should be able to understand and resolve them. So that is during the MIGO, we have to select all the items and complete the issue. This is the goods issue against the production order through MIGO. And then there is another method which is called the picking list. So picking list are generated with reference to the each production order. So it is the order which is to be issued to the stores team or the warehouse team to issue the metal to the shop floor. When warehouse module is not implemented, this picking list method will be very useful. We can issue to the stores team. To issue the component is the picking list, menu path is shown here. Transaction is CO27. Transaction what? Transaction is CO27. Now you enter the CO27 and then select the required options like what is the plant, production order, material, etc. Right? See again we have many options. In the previous session we discussed about CO04N, CO5N and then uh, uh, what is it? Um, COHV. Like this many transactions we saw. Right? The transaction, those transactions are multiple options. Similarly, this transaction is also multiple uh, options. So that we can select what is the order we need for which we have to create the picking list. Here I entered what is the production order required and the plant, then execute the transaction. So here all the components which are required for the uh, picking are uh, displayed here, which is showing what are the materials required, quantity required, which is the issue location, movement type, and then what are the metals to be issued, they are shown. After selecting all these things, we have to press this picking button. Okay. So I have not highlighted some of the icons here because I want you to identify them and to do it. Okay. The picking is appearing in this page. You can select it and proceed. And then we have to save. We have to select the items, then save the button. Once we save the button, the metal will be issued. Once we refresh the page, what will happen? What are the material not issued? They will appear here because that is not issued, no? So it is still appear. If you want to issue everything, you have to select everything. Then we have to uh, picking uh, the picking has to be selected and save the button like that. You have to do. Okay. So this is the goods issue through picking list. So next method is goods issue through backflush. So backflush we discussed in metal master page, right? When we discuss about metal master, we discuss about backflush. We discuss now backflush can be done three ways. One, we can set the backflush in Metal Master. Second, we can set the backflush in the work centers or we can do the backflush in the components assignment in the routing. So what is the purpose of backflush? When you have the backflush, when you enter the production quantity or production entry, automatically the consumption will happen as per the quantity in the production order. That is what is the purpose of backflush. You don't need to manually enter through MIGO or through the picking list. System will automatically consume it. Right, that is the purpose. So this one, I ask you to uh, select one of the options, then try it. You will, you can find out that. Okay. And one more method is, if you do, if you have not entered the backflush in the metal master or rock center and routing during production order creation, also we can go and select the backflush. So the shop for people, they don't need to issue the materials on their own. It will be done through the production order itself. That control also we can have it. So we can reduce the workload of the shop floor people by selecting the backflush. But when to select the backflush can be decided based on the criticality of the order, criticality of the function. Okay. It, for each business, it will be different. Like that you can select. Now we issued the material. Now we have to enter what is the production done. So this is called as a production order confirmation. So in production order confirmation, production quantities are recorded. And also other activities also record like what are the activities like what is the setup time processing time what are the people data how much time has been spent all those things we can record also as we discussed earlier the metal consumption through backflush that can be done automatically or the goods received from production order also can be done automatically during the order confirmation itself that is also can be done production order confirmation can be done in three ways one is called time events where specific confirmation for each operation will be done. Next is called milestone confirmation. When the operation is defined as a milestone, confirmation of the all the previous orders will be confirmed during this milestone confirmation. Another is a progress confirmation where an operation will be automatically include all the previous operations. That is called progress confirmation. So what is the production order confirmation operation level? The operation level confirmation is done with the time ticket or the time event. Which means for each operation, we can enter what is the quantity of production, scrap or rework. 
what are the activities like based on standard oil liquid whether the actual time those things we can enter what are the dates we can enter personal details also enter as the production progresses confirmation is done periodically it may be per shift or per day or per hour entering the production online is highly suggested or at least every hour it has to be confirmed why because during confirmation stock will be consumed your production will be updated so everybody will have a clear update on the production progress and also a production can be confirmed partially or can be fully both can be done many options are there so at the operation level to do the confirmation that is the production entry the transaction is co 11n menu path is shown here once you enter these things we have to select what is the order number what is the operation number what is the yield quantity if there is any variance of the quantity those things we can enter what is the posting date we can enter and also what is the personal number this is where a small integration is happening between production planning and hr where we can enter who is the person who did this production what is the long test anything related to production order confirmation we want to write something like a log those things can be entered at this operation level so at this operation level what's happening the goods movements page you have to open it there we can see what are the items what are the quantity also ensure if it is backflush ensure that all the backflush check boxes are selected and then save once you save it confirmation will be saved at that time it will also show how many metals are moved how many are failed all these things will show next we will talk about progress confirmation in progress confirmation the cumulative produced quantity have to be entered as the production confirmation quantity for example we have the production quantity of 200 pieces out of these 120 pieces are produced on first day 80 pieces are produced on second day in regular order confirmation we will enter 120 on the first day then 80 on second day so total 200 will be accounted but in case of progress confirmation first day you enter 120 pieces second day you have to enter 200 which is a cumulative that is what the progress confirmation this is done through the transaction called co1f that is a progress confirmation next is Pro, uh, production order confirmation of the order entire order this is done through the transaction co15 we just enter co15 put the production order number it will bring you to the the page to enter the uh, details but here we cannot enter the actual activities because the operation wise and all we are not doing it we are entering only for the total confirmation of the order so we can enter only the quantity what is the yield based on this system will calculate how much is the standard time for this and then what is the consumption that will be appear in the goods movements uh, uh, page and then we have to save it then system will confirm the quantity the goods issue and goods issue will happen this is a production order confirmation or order and then we have to display you no know, production order confirmation transaction code is co14 select co14 enter the order we can see what are the quantities entered yield uh, that uh, what is the start date finish date when we click on this goods movement page we can see what is the quantity required how much is quantity has been confirmed all these things we can see next is goods received from production order so once you produce the products we have to receive the products from the production order right during this stage what's happening now the, what is the product we produce that will be added into the inventory that may go into unrestricted stock or quality inspection stock or blocked stock all these options were available in the production order please remember the control right that one of the tab are showing that where the stock has to go please go if you don't remember it please go back and see them and then during the goods receipt what are the details updated what is the delivery quantity what is the increase in stock and what are the metal document and accounting document these are all posted during the goods receipt from the production order so again goods receipt can be done manually through migo see again migo is done for the goods receipt and for goods receipt from production order movement type is 101 now when you do this migo that a01 if we select the goods receipt r08 order when we enter it and then you will see that goods receipt automatically 101 movement will be appearing there that you have to check always that is there okay in a standard sap this will automatically come if at all you don't go and change something in customization okay now the goods receipt what is the quantity what is the location if you are going to receive it if the location is automatic is determined in the mrp view right hope you remember it in mrp 2 view we put that uh, location right store location if that is there it will automatically come here if it is not you have to enter the store location here then you have to select that okay check box then save it the production order will be the goods receipt will be done for this production order we will be receive the metal 
So based on the delivery tolerance, what is fixed? Where is it fixed? In the work scheduling view, where the delivery tolerance, no? plus or minus 2%, 3%. System will give the message whether the goods received to quantity is deviated from the prescribed tolerance level. Accordingly, you have to proceed with confirmation or not. And then automatic goods received. Automatic goods received can be facilitated through two methods. One is through control key, another is through production scheduling profile. Again, I suggest you to please go back to the discussions on routing where we discuss about the control key in detail. And also we discuss in the work scheduling view, the production scheduling profile. In both the cases we discuss. There we have settings to enter these goods is it automatically. When it is facilitated, when you do the order confirmation, the goods is it from production order will come automatically here. Okay. Again, control key was there is maintained at where it is maintained in the work center, it is carried to the routing, and the production scheduling profile is maintained at Metal Master in the work scheduling view. So in this session, we'll discuss we discussed about goods issue to production orders how to do the confirmation of production orders and uh, what is the goods received from production orders and what are the various uh, options available for these methods. So in the next session, we will discuss various other functions related to production orders. Please give your feedback to improve our uh, course contents and the flow of the course. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye.